been reserved for the king's pleasure. Therefore the king's portion is reserved for you. A prepared position awaits you with the king of kings sitting at the head of the table. He desires that you sup with him in the presence of your enemies. By accepting his personal invitation, your needs are met, the desires of your heart fulfilled, and to top it off you will receive the exceeding abundant above all you can ask for or even think of. Imagine that. The more you understand the king's heart, without a shadow of a doubt, you will begin to make more room for heaven's treasures. Welcome to King's Portion. This is Captain Joy Frost. And the theme of our program today is the Salami Blessing Inside and Out. And this is part 335. This is section D of a multi-part instruction. Dominion grants you the authority and power over Satan and his entire kingdom. It is where everything is under your feet, never over your head. Don't permit the enemy to talk you out of your God-ordained reign. Always deny the defeated foe the right to rule over you in your territory. This first section I'm going to talk about sees the serpent. Even a baby's praise conquers serpents. Glorious celebration to the Lord makes them seize and desist all destructive maneuvers. Afterward, serpents only have a taste for dust, live unappetizing to the enemy. From Isaiah, the 11th chapter, the 8th verse from the International Children's Bible says, a baby will be able to play near a cobra's hole. A child will be able to put his hand into the nest of a poisonous snake. The God of peace bruised Satan under your feet and bush the snake. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ leads you to take new ground with bold courage and confidence. No deadly snakes run around loose in heaven, so shall it be on earth also. We're also going to talk about God's authority and power that he's given to us. When you think of authority, it's just like a law enforcement who has the authority of a state or a county or a city or even nation, and they have the right to carry out law enforcement. But they also have the power because they have the weapons to make sure that they keep the peace that they need to keep. So it is within the kingdom of God. We have the authority of God and we have the power of God. Listen to this. Exousia, which is the authority, grants you God's authority to bring order, while dunamis, which is the power, grants you God's power for dominion. Exousia is shown in Exodus, the fourth chapter, the second through the fourth verse from the King James Version. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, What is that in thine hand? And Moses said, A rod. And God said to him, cast it on the ground and he cast it on the ground and it became a serpent and Moses fled from before it and the Lord said unto Moses put forth thy hand and take it by the tail and he took forth his hand and caught it and it became a rod in his hand now let's also look at Dunamis as shown in Acts the 28th chapter the third through the fifth verses, again from the King James Version, it says, And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid it on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffereth not to live. And Paul shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Now next is Jesus' command to all 
his disciples, including you, in Luke, the 10th chapter, the 19th verse from the King James Version. It says, Behold, I give unto you power, that is exousia, to tread on serpents and scorpions and power, that's dunamis, over all of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So now you could see that that has been granted to us the authority of God, the exousia, and the power of God, the dunamis. And that is all in the name of Jesus Christ. What is a recurring message we'd like to share with you today? Heaven is God's throne and earth is his footstool. Jesus, our great shepherd, prepares the table before you in the presence of your captured enemies. Now, although the enemy may be near, not even once can he die with Jesus in you. Now, since God already judged Satan that is condemned and punished him, he is forced to serve as your footstool. I will be right back after this message from our sponsor. Please plan to stay tuned for the entire program today. The Catherine Joy Foster Music Ministries is a 21st century multimedia marketplace ministry. In your discovery, you will find the power of God present to go where you are, to take you where Jesus is, raising you up, repairing you, restoring you, so that you can be as Jesus is in this world. Now available for workshops, banquets, conferences, webinars, concerts, prayer meetings. You can call area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Again, that's area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Proud to be an advertiser for King's Portion Web Radio. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. And this is section two when I will dress, conquer, don't cuddle. While transcribing what the Lord was downloading to me, Holy Spirit gave me perfect call about the nature of snakes, as well as several stories I've heard previously. First, there is a type of snake that attacks from the back. Secondly, there is one that attacks from the front. Thirdly, there's another one who will cuddle around the neck. And every time that one inhales, it moves undetected by that party until it has him in a choke hold that is restraining hold on the neck. It did not have to struggle to strangle him to death. The next command Holy Spirit gave me was conquer, don't cuddle. He followed on with an account of a woman who found a snake and brought it home with her because she was so smitten by it. When it stopped eating, she decided to put its lifeless body in bed with her. When she awakened, instead of being coiled up in a circle, it had stretched itself out until it measured her height. Still concerned, she took it to the vet, when she told him the symptoms, the vet informed her that it had stopped eating to accommodate space to consume her. Then Holy Spirit reminded me of what a young man told me about his father who breeds snakes. He said, snakes live on live things. Now, this is a warning from Proverbs, the 16th chapter, the 25th verse for us all. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Refuse to make decisions by your five physical senses. What you see, hear, touch, taste, or smell. Ask God for spiritual perception. Pray to God about everything to make it impossible to be pray for the enemy in anything. Now, this is Jesus' command. From Mark, the 16th chapter, the 18th verse from the King James Version, he says, They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, 
and they shall recover. Now, this is when Jesus was about to ascend to heaven. These were the last words that he spoke to his disciples as well as there was other things as well. But this phrase, take up, in Greek means raise, lift up, take away, remove. He didn't want us to be conquered by the snake, but he's given us full authority and full power over every snake, every serpent, every dragon, the devil. And we can live in victory because he's already given us the victory in Jesus' name. Now in our program today, you're going to enjoy the music of Christopher as they present won't stop praising. See what happens when there is praise, then there is the Lord who is enthroned in our praise and he is enthroned as King of Kings and Lord of Lords when we praise him and give him the right away. Because you saw the Lord at your right hand, then you are giving him the right to rule in your life to actually lead you to the dominion he wants to give you that he's already given to us. But we can't do anything without him, but we can do all things through him. So let's hear, won't stop praising Christopher, and I'll be right back after their song. Come on, everybody, put your hands together.
visit us on the web at blog.kingsportionlive.com. That's blog.kingsportionlive.com. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. And this is section three. And I will address the name of Jesus keeps the serpent seized, shut up and sealed. Holy Spirit led me to search seize the serpent online to discover scriptures confirming his rhema word. I was pleasantly surprised to find Revelations, the 20th chapter, the second verse. Now, most of the Bible translations use that identical phrase, seize the serpent. The Passion Translation zeroed right on the will of God for the church at large. It confirmed our present authority, which is exousia, and power, which is dunamis, to seize the serpent. From Revelation the 20th chapter, the first through the third verse from the Passion Translation says, binding Satan. And this is written by one of the apostles, John. And it says, then I saw a mighty angel descending from the heavenly realm, holding a heavy chain and a key, the key of the deep. He seized the dragon, that ancient serpent known as the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. The mighty angel threw Satan into the pit, locked it and sealed it so that he could no longer deceive the nations until the 1,000 years were over. After that, he must be loosed for a brief time. And then the footnotes for those verses say, Satan has been bound since the death and resurrection of Jesus. We now enforce the judgment that took place on Calvary. The thousand years is an obvious metaphor of the time in which we live. We are given the authority, that's exousia, to overpower, that is dunamis, the mighty man, speaking of Satan, and tie him up and plunder his goods. So I say to you, seize the serpent, Satan. Here's a thought for transformation. Live breach proof. Activate God's command. Seize the serpent. The command is in your hand. Ecclesiastes, the 10th chapter, the 8th verse, forewarned. And whoso breaketh an hedge, a serpent shall bite him. That is showing us that we need to be healed, hedged, and hushed. So the enemy will have no place to bite. Now, don't forget to go to our blog so that you can download these notes and have them in your own possession. Then you can have this to know and to help you stay fully covered all the time under the shadow of the Almighty who desires to keep us safe and sound 24-7. And you can also download former scriptures that we have used for our programs so that you can have the unfair advantage. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. I was just standing there basking in the sun and all of a sudden I was soaking wet. There wasn't a sign in the sky, so I was unprepared without an umbrella. But in the end, it just didn't matter. I loved every minute of it. I knew I was living under open heavens. It really does give new meaning to being overtaken by blessing. Not a dry spot. This is Fran the Fan of H-D-O-R. Uh-oh, here comes the rain again. been listening to King's Portion Live with web host Catherine Joy Foster. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is the Tsunami Blessing Inside and Out. And this is section four. And I will address the strength of your covenant partner covers your weakness. So what happened is that the Lord needs our partnership so that he can enter the earth. And we need his partnership so that we can be seated in heavenly places next to Jesus where our authority is there. So let's hear this 
This shows two things. Number one, our intercession to God in prayer. And then this is also shows God's intervention to us and how he plans to answer our prayers regarding the serpent. So it says, your intercession. And this is taken from Psalm the 74th division, the 10th through the 23rd verses from the voice translation says, Oh, true God, how much longer will the enemy mock us? Will this insult continue against you forever? Why do you stand by and do nothing? Unleash your power and finish them off. Even so, the true God is my king from long ago, bringing salvation to his people throughout the land. You have divided the sea with your power. You shattered the skulls of the creatures of the sea. You smashed the heads of Leviathan, who is a sea monster, and fed his remains to the people of the desert. You broke open the earth and springs burst forth and streams filled the crevices. You dried up great rivers. The day and the night are both yours. You fashioned the sun the moon, and all the lights that pierce the darkness. You arrange the earth, set all its boundaries. You are the architect of the seasons, summer and winter. Eternal one, do not forget that the enemy has taunted you and a company of fools have rejected your name. We are your precious turtle doves. Don't surrender our souls to the wild beast. Do not forget the lives of your poor afflicted and brokenhearted once forever. Be mindful of your covenant with us for the dark corners of the land are filled with pockets of violence. Do not allow the persecuted to return without honor. May the poor, wounded, and needy sing praises to you. May they bring glory to your name. O true God, rise up and defend your cause. Remember how the foolish man insults you every hour of the day. Do not forget the voices of your enemies, the commotion and chaos of your foes, which continually grow. Now that, again, was the intercession that even we can use, that they use before God. Now, when we look in Isaiah, the 27th chapter, the first through the third verses from the Amplified Bible, the classic edition, you can see God's intervention. It says, in that day, the Lord will deliver Israel from her enemies and also from the rebel powers of evil and darkness. His sharp and unrelenting, great and strong sword will visit and punish Leviathan, the sea monster, the swiftly fleeing serpent, Leviathan, the twisting and windy serpent, and he slay the monster that in the sea. In that day shall be said of the redeemed nation of Israel, a vineyard beloved and lovely. Sing a responsive psalm to it and about it. And then Lord would say, I, the Lord, am his keeper. I water it every moment, lest anyone harm it. I guard it and keep it day and night. So know this, that covenant partnership always brings heaven to earth. So we have to make sure that we're doing our part to stay connected. And even with that, the Lord will help us to do that because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Again on our program today, you're going to enjoy the music of Christopher as they present Tired Radio. What they're showing is they were getting tired of the things were going on. We have to know that we still have to hold on what? To the word of God and to the spirit of God who is able to strengthen us and lead us and guide us in all truth. And then we also have Jesus who ever liveth to intervene for us. And we have Holy Spirit who intercedes for us so that we are spot on and we never give up until we see the promise of God that he promised never to leave us nor forsake us. So that means that when he's present all the time, then nothing can be happening at any time because he is there every moment because of his love. So let's hear Tired Radio, Christopher, and I'll be right back.
our new interactive website. Please log on to www.kingsportionlive.org. That's www.kingsportionlive.org. We believe that you will discover something that will speak to the royal blood in you. Thanks for staying tuned for the conclusion of our program today, which bears the theme, the tsunami blessing inside and out. And this is section six in our address, Deliverance from serpents. Now, when we look at that city that was burned, Ziglag, in the last session, it says burned. And in Hebrew, that is from a word, seraph, that figuratively means poisonous, fiery snakes. So that shows that the enemy was trying to use their destructive forces to even curse the land. But God turned it around because David received his crown to reign within two days. Now, what we're going to use is John Eckert's Deliverance from Serpents Prayer so that you can know that you can 
voice activate this as well. I just want to give you some definitions. And these are all from the word of God. There is a cockatrice, which is a serpent from a cock's age that can kill with a glance. And then he also uses the word from the scripture viper. And that means an offspring of the serpent, Satan. So this is what it says when you want deliverance from serpents. Lord, bruise the head of every serpent that would attack my life in the name of Jesus. Punish the piercing serpent in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any serpent that would try to deceive me. I release the rod of God to swallow up at every serpent that would come against me in the name of Jesus. Protect me from fiery serpents. I bind and rebuke every serpent that would try to twist or coil around my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every python that would try to squeeze out my prayer life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every cobra that would come against me in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every cockatrice that would come against me in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke rebuke every flying serpent that would attack my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every sea monster that would attack my life in the name of Jesus. I have the authority to tread upon serpents. I'm a believer. I pick up serpents. Let the fire of God drive out every serpent from my life. I cast out every viper that would operate in my life in the name of Jesus. So what you do is you voice activate scriptures and prayers like these in your life. Again, they're part of our scripture text that you can download from our blog. But you do that so then it changes what you believe because when you change what you believe then you'll change what you say about any situation that may try to come against you how would we like to leave this program with you today live relentlessly about treading down the wicked wearing abba's boots of peace god crushes satan into irreconcilable pieces under your feet in the name of jesus under no circumstances, give the devil any wiggle room. Keep your feet on the neck of the enemy at all times. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, our conqueror, ignites you to arise as more than a conqueror through him who loves you. This is Captain Joy Foster for King's Portion, where we speak to the royal blood in you. You have been listening to The King's Portion with radio host Catherine Joy Foster. Today's podcast is available for download. Log on to blog.kingsportionlive.com or email info at kingsportionlive.com.